还人呢。
John, a really good performance from the team today. We created plenty of chances and we took them too. We did eventually, yeah. I think the um, first kind of 20 minutes we created a number of chances and got in behind their full backs so many times. I think uh, the inverted wingers really worked today with Stowe and McKenzie. And the full backs, Thompson and McPherson, were really dangerous. But just that final ball at the start of the game just kind of killed us a little bit. And just with a wee bit more composure, we should have scored much earlier and should have scored much more. But uh, yeah, a good performance on a really, really fiery pitch. Uh, some of the bounces were incredible, um, but we did really well. And the heat as well was a bit of a factor. I think, we were, I think we hit 26 degrees at some point there, so the referee was doing water breaks, which helped us a lot, which was good. Um, obviously, safety comes first. But yeah, to win 5-1 away from home is good. Um, you mentioned the pitch there. I think that may have had something to do with the, the opening goal for Oakley, but we certainly showed character to come back from a goal down, and I think we scored three within five minutes. Yeah, I mean, you know, Cameron Benny's put his hand up for the first goal. It's, it's a ball he probably should come and claim, you know, clean. Um, but that's the life of a goalkeeper, you know, as a, as a striker or a winger, you can give the ball away and it's it's a turnover of possession, but a mistake from a certain half or a goalkeeper quite often results in a goal. Um, but I think he responded to that fairly well, um, and the response from the team in general was excellent. You know, we, we kept our principles, we kept passing the ball. I thought Skinner and Bremner <coughs> for large spells did really well, and attitudes were bang on, confidence was bang on, and you know, as you say, we scored three in, in five minutes. Um, so it was a good turnaround, good response. It was also great, I mean, a great result, but it, it was also great to see the, the likes of Doherty, Sned and, and Jamie Allen back on the pitch today. Um, Sned's rounded off the match with a cracking goal for the fifth. Um, all three are big misses when they're not there, aren't they? Yeah, we've, we've not had our troubles to seek when it comes to injuries. Uh, Jamie Allen's had a recurring toe problem that we were worried was going to become chronic and you know might require, might require surgery but it looks like we've managed to fix that with insoles so that's a that's a huge plus because Jamie Allen's a, a massive player for us. Doherty obviously one of the best individuals in the whole league he's not played since the Trinent game the, 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 the last uh, final uh, back on the 5th of June um, and he didn't really uh, get a pre-season under his belt so we need to just be careful with him but he's a massive player and a massive miss when he's not playing uh, and Sned's for me, he's probably the best number nine in the league. You know, just the way he links the play and his back to go and how he can roll guys. So having all three of them back fits, you know, fantastic. So we're we're, we're pleased. But Dale Baxter picked up a knock last week on Tuesday against Rosyth, as did Sean Heaver. So three come in, two go out. But we're hoping we're going to have a full squad to pick from uh, for soccer on Saturday. John, thanks very much. I'll let you get some after sun on there. Thank you very much. <laughs>